Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tanisha here. So I literally just came out of the shower. I co-washed my hair. I just kind of needed a midweek pick me up. My hair's feeling a little dry. So I co-washed with the Tresemme Botanique Nourish and Replenish Conditioner. This conditioner pretty much melts through any tangles that I actually have in my hair. I actually really, really love it. So I co-wash with that and now I'm going to follow up with my signature wash and go. So if you'd like to see how I do my wash and go, then stay tuned. So I haven't even put anything in my hair. This is my hair freshly washed, as you could see. And for some of you who would have seen my um, thoughts on rice water, I told you guys that my hair looks really, really defined straight out of the shower. This is with no product. So the rice water was good for something at least. So now I'm going to apply the cream of nature, coconut milk, curl repair leave-in. And this leave-in works really, really nicely with my hair. This is the first leave-in that I actually really like. This is basically the consistency of it. It's really thick and creamy. It's not it's actually not gonna fall out of the container even though I hold it upside down. That's how thick it is. And actually my hair really loves thick, thick products. So I'm gonna take that much and just kinda pass it through all of my hair. I'm going to take a little bit more and just moisturize in my hair to get it prepped for the styling products. Just apply the leave-in and then it goes straight to my styler. Today I'm going to be using the Hydrating Curl Cream, also from Cream of Nature, the coconut milk line. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to section my hair first, apply this cream, and this cream is basically the same texture the same consistency as they leave in and they pair really well together so I'm going to apply the hydrating cool cream and then my trusty <laughs> I just threw down stuff and then my trusty eco styler gel the olive oil one and I like to start my hair from the back and work my way forward oh I should mention that I got this, these products in Pennywise, which is a local beauty supply store here in Trinidad. I honestly don't remember how much this cost me. I think it was maybe like around 40, 45 TT. So yeah, it's pretty inexpensive and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So taking this much of the product for this back section of my hair. And this section of my hair is pretty um, low density. I don't have a lot of hair in the back hair. And that's the weird thing about my hair, like in different parts of my hair, it's different textures, it's different densities, it's just kind of doing its own thing. So, and the back hair is low density and it's a looser texture as well. And I'm sure you guys could see how well, just the leaf, just the curling cream how well that defined my hair. I mean my hair was already pretty defined before I put it in but yeah you guys could see that it's really defined even after I add the curling cream so after I apply that I'm gonna go in with smaller sections of course and I'm gonna apply my eco styler gel and I usually go really really heavy handed with the gel because I like my wash and goes to last me a long time so I probably take this much of the gel and apply it I basically paint it onto the section from the roots and you can see that I'm smoothing it onto my hair so this helps me eliminate a lot of frizz and as I'm smoothing it, I could feel my hair absorbing the product. And then after it's smooth, I then take my fingers and I put it into my hair like this and continue to rake the product through my hair. And that helps to clump my curls. So, 
you comb the curls and then you take my index and my thumb finger and just smooth it along as well. So comping and smoothing to eliminate frizz. And as you can see there, my hair looks really straight, but I promise it's gonna curl back up. It's gonna curl up. But this is what the first section looks like. So it's really straight, but it will curl, don't worry. So I'm gonna continue on doing the same procedure. Apply the gel, basically paint it onto my hair and then smooth the gel and the curling cream into my hair. Start raking it through just to clump the curls together and continue smoothing so that I eliminate any type of frizz that would come through. I much rather do a wash and go than having to sit and twist my hair for an hour and then have to wait for it to dry and then take it out in the morning and fluff and separate and all of that drama. It's so much more work and I get less days out of it because of course Trinidad is really humid. So I much rather doing wash and goes because all humidity does this is get it bigger but it maintains its natural curl pattern which I am completely fine with. So again you see this section it pretty much looks similar to the other side and you'll see as the video progresses that it will continue to curl up and shrink up as you go along but that's basically the back complete in maybe like what two minutes when I'm doing a wash and go I like for my hair to be like dripping or wet like soaking now out of the shower wet <laughs> so I'll probably have to grab my spray bottle to continue this. I'm going to take the curling cream again and add it to the section. And about that much. You can see I apply it to my ends first. Because, of course, most of us know that the ends are the oldest part of your hair. So they need a lot more help. And a lot more love and attention. So after I applied the killing cream again you guys could see you could see that definition going on there. Like I really really love this product. And it smells really good too. This product wins in my book. In terms of scent, in terms of how it makes my hair feel. I I love it. So you guys are basically seeing what I do, so I'm just going to speed through this part. Oh, I just wanted to come back and let you guys know sometimes, especially in the more frizzy areas of my hair, I go through, after I apply the gel and I rig the product and smooth it and all that, I go through and pull pieces, individual strands apart. So when I pull the individual strand or the individual curl, I'm going to smooth it down the entire line. And that's how I get like crazy, crazy definition when I'm doing my wash and go. So you'll see me just smoothing each individual curl. So yeah, there you can see my hair. <laughs> yeah, sure you guys can see that. And the part I was looking really straight before, of course you're seeing it starting to curl up now. tip when you're doing your hair, at least for me, I try not to touch my hair too much until it's completely dry because then you start to encourage frizz and uh, when I'm doing a wash and go, like I said before, I really try to get as many days as I can out of it, so I really try not to touch my hair. Okay guys, so I went to get my comb 
I usually use a comb to pop my hair and I usually pop my hair on my right side which is gonna be the left for you guys so just gonna make sure I have a straight part here just for the front and I just pat the rest with my fingers like usual and I wet my hair again because like I told you guys I like for my hair to be dripping wet and when I get to like a chunkier section I like to split it and distribute the product evenly in this section within this section make sure that I get all my roots properly so that nowhere is puffy and then some are sleek everything's just gonna be nice and uniform and guys I really really take my time the, the more you take your time with this is the better your washing girl is going to look I absolutely promise you that okay guys <laughs> I'm finally on the last section now, for those of you who would have seen my braid off video, I would have told you guys that this top portion of my hair really gives trouble. It's a looser texture and it doesn't define as well as the rest of my hair. So I tend to have to give this section a little bit more encouragement. So when I'm going through, after I apply the killing cream and the gel, I go through my hair and I finger coil each section and then I try to scrunch it just to bring some of the curls back. So you'll see what I what I mean and you can see what I mean when I say that it's a looser texture you could obviously see that right here it barely curls it's more of a weave if you guys could see that yeah definitely more of a weave so especially when I'm doing washing goes I have to give it a little bit of extra help <laughs> so you guys can see how much looser that is but like I said I just kind of have to work it out and I just try to finger coil those parts that aren't as curly and that typically tends to work well it works that's the best method I've found so far if anybody else has this or has a similar problem you could definitely let me know what you do to blend multiple textures on your head. So yeah, there I am finished. You can see this side is already starting. Oh, the, actually, your white residue is gone. And of course, this side I just finished, so you still see a little bit of a white cast. But as you can see, it's going to disappear as soon as it starts drying. So now I'm just going to take my hair in my hand like this and just crunch it up. And you can kind of see the difference already from how it was like two seconds ago and I just hold it for a few seconds at the top so yeah and I just shake my hair out make sure that I keep my part distinct and defined and yeah this is my wash and go so yeah that's what I do that is my wash and go alright guys so this is what my wash and go looks like when it's fully dried the back has shrunk up a lot and where I did the finger coils to the front those parts which are also pretty straight are now curly or curlier so it matches the rest of my hair a lot better Okay, so I decided to come back and show you guys what my hair looks like as the week progresses. This is six day hair and as you can see, you still see a lot of the definition in my hair on both sides. I just have a little bit of frizz on one section of my hair but for the most part, you could just see the curls coming through. 
you can see how much my hair shrunk up. <laughs> Shrinkage is real. Um, and even in front where my hair was a lot looser, that wavy texture, you can see those curls or those coils actually coming through a lot better. So it matches the rest of my hair texture so much more. So I just wanted to show you guys that if you really do give your hair enough time while you're styling, you could get wash and go results that can last you the entire week. And I have to mention as well that my hair stayed moisturized for the entire week. I didn't have to put more product on it. I just spritzed it with a little bit of water and shook my hair out just to mist it a little bit. My hair still has a lot of movement. So I'm really, really pleased with how these products worked and how it held up in my hair for the entire week. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this wash and go, then please like the video, comment down below what your favorite wash and go combo is and if you ever try this combo let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video and you like other content and you'd like to see other content from me then I encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification bell while you're at it so you're notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!